What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you, Negroes, today. According to YouTuber Hood Educated, Trish's News ain't the only one snitching. He is claiming that ex O Block member David has testified against Lil Durk and Chief Keith two days in a row. And the moment the news hit the internet, everybody's acting surprised. Everybody's flabbergasted. They can't seem to fathom why a street dude would turn on his own game. I'm not one of those people. I'm not surprised at all. Like I always tell you guys, most street dudes are informants. Like I always tell you guys, most street dudes are snitches. When they back is against the wall, when they looking at serious jail time, nine out of ten times they gonna fold. I'm just being real. Ain't nobody living by the no snitching code. Yeah, the no snitching code sounds good. It seems logical. It's a good theory. Up until it's ready to be applied. Do you think street dudes is sitting in the detective rules talking about some F y'all, give me my time, I'ma take it like a man, I'm sticking to the no snitching code? Hell no. Everybody's cooperating. Everybody's trying to get a lighter sentence. Why you think street dudes are so hard? Why you think street dudes are so violent? It's because they know if they get arrested for a crime, they got the intel, they got the information that the detectives want so they can bargain with them for a lighter sentence. Sinish. That be y'all talking about some man, he hard. Man, he a street dude. I can't believe he told. No shit. Most of them are hard. Most of them real pop you. But if they get arrested, they know they can get a lighter sentence because they got information the detectives won't. They know the detectives mom. They got the detectives on speed dial. The detectives know they mom. So street dudes are telling at an all-time high. Trust me when I say this. It ain't lame-ass dudes telling. It ain't square dudes like me telling. How you think detectives know people aliases, last addresses, who beat their baby mama last night, who popped somebody at the party? How do you think middle-aged white men are finding out this information? It ain't squares that's doing it. It's other street dudes getting caught for other crimes and saying, hey, detective, you got me on this, man. But I got some information you might want to know. I got some information about a murder you've been trying to solve, but I want to, I'll give it to you for a lighter sentence. I'll give it to you for money. That's what they are doing. So when I hear that ex O Block game member David is testifying against Lil Dirk, he's testifying against Chief Keith. He giving the inner workers of O Block. He telling on everybody for a lighter sentence. He telling on everybody for immunity. I refuse to sit on my YouTube channel and act surprised. I refuse to trick y'all like that because I'm sitting back like, yeah, that's what they do. Street dude, gang member, throwing up the set, throwing up gang signs, hardest nigga on the block. Up until he get arrested, because let's just be honest, no matter how hard you is, no matter your background, don't nobody want to go to jail and lay next to Bubba for 25 years? Everybody love their freedom. I don't give a damn how hard you think somebody is. Everybody love waking up. Everybody love leaving and going at free will. Don't nobody want to be in the cell, because like I'ma say, you can be the man out here in these streets. You can have respect. That don't mean shit when you're in jail. What you did on the outside world no longer means anything in jail. It's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different set of rules you got to live by. And I don't think David was willing to do that. I think David, like they say, he got caught with the strap. He's a felon. He was looking at serious time. His family in his ear. His baby mama talking about she need help with the son. His mama talking about she getting old. Baby, you need to give the police what they want to hear. You need to tell on your friends. You need to cooperate so you can have your freedom back. And he fell into it and said, you know what? I got inner workers on O-Block. I can tell you little Dirk roll in O-Block. I can tell you Cheeky roll in O-Block. And of course the detective is going to bite on that. But let's be honest. They paid Trish's News $25,000. They gave that nigga 15 installments. They had him on a payment plan. Trish's News was snitching so good. They got that nigga on a payment plan. So what you think they going to do for David? An active gang member? Member of O-Block? He talked about everything. He talked about how money was made. Who was the leaders? How do they get disciplined? He gave up everything. And he even said that Lil Dirk supplied O-Block with the straps and the drugs, according to Hood Educated. And he also snitched on Chi Keith. He said Chi Keith used to supply O-Block with the straps. So now he's throwing Chi Keith in this whole situation. I'm not surprised at all. But anyway, let's look at this Facebook post that's exposing David from O-Block. Let's take a look at this. Boom! This is what somebody posted on Facebook. They got a picture of David. For all you niggas saying trenches took the stand, false. Fact. 
Trishis has not took the stand yet. This is David the BD from Old Block who testified on his own gang. He was compensated first. You hear what he just said? This is David the BD from Old Block who testified on his own gang. He was compensated first. Duh. Who you think makes the best witnesses? Who do you think the prosecutors lean on the most? If you get booked for a crime, if you get on trial, they gonna try to get people that was close to you, people that was doing crime with you. They gonna try to get them to flip on you because they seem more credible. So of course they gonna get other O Block members. And of course he took the stand for a lighter sentence, immunity, and maybe some money as well. David trying to get his ass out of jail. I'm not saying it's right, but that's how this game go. Let's continue. He was on the stand yesterday and he's back today. Full info video dropping today. Don't let these other fake blogs or channels lie to you. RIP FBG Duck. So you hear that? RIP FBG Duck. David from Old Block is going to take down Old Block. And he might just give Dirk a Rico. I'm just saying. Cause we, every year we say Lil Dirk is going down. I know. Every year we say Lil Dirk is going down. And he don't never go down. Every time something happens with Old Block, we say, you know Lil Dirk is next. But sooner than later, it's going to stick. Because Lil Dirk name is involved in too much stuff. And then you got Trench's news snitching. You got BDs from Old Block cooperating. Ain't no telling who's a damn informant. So Lil Dirk, be careful. You up here singing about murders. You up here rapping about murders. You never know who has ties to the police that's close to you. That's why I don't trust anybody that's in and out of jail. Somebody start talking about how hard they is, how many years they did in jail. You know I'm a real dude, man. I did 12 years in the joint. I'm looking at that nigga like, yeah, you probably gonna told too, bro. More than likely. If you're doing 12 years, 15 years here and there, three years here and there, if you've been in and out of jail, then you doing a little too much telling. Could you make yourself known to the police? That's how I feel about this situation. So I know all these bloggers are running with it. All these bloggers are talking about street ethics. The streets ain't what it used to be. It's always been snitches in the streets. Snitching ain't something new. Matter of fact, there's more snitches then than there is now. I think it's about the same. Ain't nothing changed. A snitch is going to be a snitch, whether it's 1982, whether it's 2012, whether it's 2023. The year ain't stopping nobody from telling. That's how I feel about that. And I ain't going to lie. It's been a change of shift in street dudes. Nowadays, you ever remember a street dude? They think everybody tell it. They always point out a snitch. Man, that nigga tell it. Man, that dude tell it. That dude tell it. They be paranoid as hell. And I'm going to say this to all you street dudes. If you got to be paranoid about who's telling, you think everybody's out to get you, you might want to leave the streets. If you say snitching is at an all-time high, don't nobody respect the code no more, then why are you still a criminal? Do you think you're going to slip through the cracks? Because I'm here to say, if you do crime, and you do crime with other people, if it's five of y'all, four of y'all going to tell. Let five people get arrested. I guarantee you within that first night, somebody is thinking about getting the light of sin. Man, I can flip the script on them. I can tell them this and tell them that. Because you know what's going to happen. People get to think about freedom. People get to think about what they got going on the outside. They don't want to be locked in the cage. So look, street dudes, stop doing crime with other people. It's best to do crime about you, with yourself. Because you don't want no co-defendant. That's the whole goal of doing crime. If you want to be a hardened criminal, if you want to be a successful criminal, do crime by yourself. And sometimes you got to do shady things. Because ain't no morality in the streets. People want to think there's a street dudes with morality. Man, take your time. Don't put other people in it. Hell no. Somebody get caught for doing something. A real street dude going to slither his way out one way or another. And he don't care a damn about who he throw under the bus. That's how the streets really go. All that movie shit. Hey, dudes cussing out detectives. It don't really go like that. I'm here to tell y'all. So stop, turn the movies off. Get out the streets. And try to work a 9 to 5. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts about ex o Block gang member testifying against Lil Durk and Chief Keith. I think it's bad news. I think a Rico is coming. But you know what people are going to say, man? Y'all bloggers always say a Rico coming. A Rico ain't came yet. But I wonder how you guys feel about it. It's easy to type in the comment section. Let me know how you guys really feel. Give me some details. Do you think a Rico is coming for Lil Durk? How long do we think Lil Durk is going to get away with having his name in paperwork and ain't no charges being held against him? They know some people saying Lil Durk is telling. Some people say he is cooperating. He throwing other members under the bus. That's why no charges really stick to him. We know his brother D Thang was involved with FBG Doug murder. He made a phone call to the killers right before they took him out. 
that don't look good on Lil Durk, especially when you got a song called Shoulda Duck when you dissing FBG Duck. So I think Lil Durk is just moving the wrong way. I think Lil Durk should just lay low. I think he should distance himself from every gangster disciple, every black disciple, every old block member. He should just go solo for a while, spend time with your kids, spend time with your girls, stay up out the streets. You have nothing to prove. You rich, you take care of your family. Stop beefing, stop sneak dissing. Cause that's what Lil Durk do. Lil Durk don't blatantly diss people, but he'll like sneak diss people in his songs if you really pay attention. He's still on that game and stuff. But anyway, guys, share this video. Send me a like. I love you guys. Peace.